and some would argue that you're actually striking your, your own way out of a job because you're going to contribute to, to the railways becoming less popular, less reliable. People are going to stop relying on the railways. Well, I don't think that's true. That's a government line that you're punting out on their behalf. Well, that's it's, the sort of stuff they come out with. Excuse the railways, me, you don't the know. Railways are excuse making, me, I'm talking to you about conversations I've had. Profit. Please, I'm not going to have you stand there yeah. and accuse me of being a government mouthpiece. I'm a, I'm a human being, I'm well, a middle aged woman, it's, it's, and I'm a journalist. And I'm well, talking to you like, about conversations I've had with people I know. This has got nothing to do with the government. It's exactly the phraseology that I hear across the table from government ministers, almost verbatim. So there you go. Maybe you're just very in tune with what they say. So what I'm we've in tune got with is the people return to the railway. We've got... We, OK, well, fine. Maybe they're in tune with the government as well. But, but, but passengers just want to get to work, to, to just go about their daily lives. And you say that, that, that customers want a no, reliable I understand railway. That, and I absolutely, if you speak, I absolutely if you speak agree to everybody, you. If you speak to everybody in the north of England at the minute and anyone who wants to use West Coast railways, mm. they can't rely on getting to work, even when we're not on strike. There's more disruption when we're not on strike than when we are in some cases. It's an appalling system and the, the people that are running our railway at the moment have proven themselves completely incompetent. Do you not think passengers just want to be able to get to work? Do you think, do you think they mind what the motivation is? You're saying that the motivation for, for, for what the, the companies are doing is all money. The companies will say that their motivation is, is to make the businesses run better. But as far as passengers are concerned, they don't well, care got... what the motivation is. They just want the trains to be running. And there are, there are people who can't get to work today, well, well, can't get their kids to school today, because once again, you're on strike. I'm here at Euston Station, and we've had the most appalling train service that any railway company has provided in history. And if you take, if you take uh, Northern Rail and Transpennine Express, what these companies specialise in is failure. They've proven time and again that they are incapable of running the railway. So what the passengers want, I believe, is a, is a decent, competent management system where they can expect a reliable and safe railway at a reasonable price. What we need to do is change the system. We need to get a railway that's reliable so that people can use it, so they can be get back into our towns and cities, re revive the economy for the hospitality industry and all the other people that rely on uh, the railways and public transport. What, what, but what we're seeing now is a government that's determined to drive down public transport usage, whether that's on the buses or the railway. Fares are being hiked, services are becoming more and more unreliable, and the problem is that there is not a coherent railway system in our country. It is completely fractured and broken, and we need to revise that and get a decent system that's in all our interests.